Hey guys, Tian here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get C++ and Xcode working on your Mac smoothly. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of articles online that show you how to do it. And a lot of YouTube videos that also show you how to do the same thing. But in the comment sections of each article and video lies someone who has an issue with getting Xcode to compile and run the program. So in today's video, I want to circumvent those issues. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is download Xcode. You're going to need a developer profile. You can create one at developer.apple.com. You can also go to developer.apple.com to download Xcode. And that's it. Let's get started. I'm going to unmute my screen reader. Voice over unmuted. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Xcode. So I'm going to hit command space bar to go to the spotlight search and open Xcode from there. Spotlight. Spot Even though it's literally right there in my dock. X C O D E. Xcode icon table. Table. In table. Xcode sell two items. Application. Close button. Xcode. And once you're in Xcode, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to create a new project. To create a new project, you're going to go up to the menu bar and click on File. Menu bar, Apple X file. And inside of the file, file menu, menu, inside of the file menu, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go down to New. New submenu. New submenu 12i. And inside of New, you're going to click on Project. Editor below, Win, win five, Target Playground Project Ellipsis Command Shift N. Project. Choose a template for your new project. Now inside of this choose a new template window, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on Mac OS, which I already have selected, and you're going to click on Command Line Tool, which I also have selected. Once these are selected, you're going to click on Next. Pre ne ne next, default product name, edit text. And you're going to name it. So let's name it. V I D E O. T U T O R I A L Video Tutorial. And once we have a name here, we're gonna go down. None. Team pop up button. And we already have we don't have a team. So we're gonna tab down. CPP. Content selected organization identifier. And I have my prefix as CPP. You're gonna to want to put a prefix. I recommend putting CPP. C plus plus language pop up button. Now, in the language pop-up button here, if I were to click on this, menu for items check. I would get four options. We have C, C++, Objective-C, and Swift. Those are the languages that the command line tool supports, and I believe Xcode supports this as a whole. So I'm going to leave C++ selected because that's what we're going to be using for today's video. C, check mark, C++. And you're going to click next. Can't pre next, next, default button. In open, dialog, column view, browse. I was going to ask you to create a Git repository, but we're just going to ignore that. Leaving column, change the desktop, search text, new fold options, cancel, we're gonna create keep button. It. I'm going to keep mine inside the desktop. You guys can go over to the sidebar and select what folder you want to put yours in. I'm just going to keep mine in desktop. I'm going to hit create here. Table. Closing dialog. Closing dialog. In alert. Dialog. Fix button. No author information was supplied. I was going to say no author information was supplied. Ensure the author information supplied in Xcode greater than... Yeah, okay, okay. Shut up. Now, you can click cancel because this doesn't mean anything. You can just hit cancel. Oh, cancel. Please shut up. Okay. Click cancel. Table. Video tutorial. Source control status. Selected. Now... We're inside of the Xcode project, and there's something called main.cpp, which is the file. We can edit the name of the file to anything we want, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Menu button, project, not project, navigator, fill, menu, tape, report, break, read, table, intake, video, tutorial, product, main cpp, level three, main cpp, main, is select. Now, I'm going to just name this to, let's just call it. Select Y-R-O-N-S-T-E-S-T. Titan's test CPP. 
we're just going to leave this as Tion's test. And we're going to go over to the source code window here. And we're going to write some code in there. As you guys can see, there's already code in there because Xcode is smart enough to just generate a simple Hello World program. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that and just write my own code. But I want to show you guys something before I do that. If I was, if I were to hit Command R to run the code, run. Build succeeded. System dialog. You guys would see the output, and Command B would be used to build. But Command R usually builds the program and then runs it afterwards. So Command B it would be useless. So, well, it's not useless. It's just Command R would do both of those things. So I'm going to go over to the source editor and. I'm going to go ahead and delete the code that's already there and then write some new code. Out of products. So let's out, out of menu, here. project navigator, out of get verticals out of editor area, group. We're going to go over to the editor area. In edit main CPP, debug bar, horizontal splitter, debug area, debug, or debug main, jump bar, main CPP, group. In main scroll area, scroll area. In scroll area, here. four items, source editor, change gutter, source edit, source editor, edit text in. And I'm going to just select all of this text slash, by. Slash. Please, I'm going to select all of this text slash, slash, by video tutorial slash 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 create voice over muted. Oh, geez, this thing gets annoying sometimes. I'm going to select all of this text by clicking Command A, and I'm just going to hit the space bar to delete it. You know, just basic text editing. And now that all of this text is deleted, let's write some code. Voice over unmuted. Now I'm going to um, write slash, some comments space. here. And we're going to say this -A 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 is a, -A -V -I -D -O video T -E -F -T. test new line. And Black. let's start. Number. Um, number. A shape of S L U D E include. Include. Less than. I O S T R E A M. I O greater than. Greater than. New line. U S R N U S N A F E S P X E name F T D S T D. New line. In T N M A R N. Main. Main. Right brace. New line. New line. Left brace, space. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let's declare some variables. We're going to uh, put int v a r o n e their own uh, equal equals. That, let's make that twenty three. Two three twenty three semicolon black new line space space space. And we're just going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and name this one var two v a r t w o var two equal equals and we'll make this 55 five, 55 55 semicolon black new line now we'll space space, to... space 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 now we'll have another F variable int. here a n s w e answer semicolon new line space space a n s w e r answer answer equal equals a r o n e their own black plus plus v a r t o virtual semicolon and we're going to go New down line, and space, we're going to say C -O -U -T, C -O -U -T, Le Less than, less than, less than, quotation mark. And let's go ahead and just write something normal. Let's just write something random because I don't even remember the numbers that I stored in those variables. So um, let's say. Quote E, L, L, O, Hello. comma. Space. Eight. Ah, this. Ah, at this. Eight. But the pow. M. N. What many? A. P. P. L. E. S. Apples. Ah, I. A. A. V. E. Quotation. Space. Less than. Less than. Less than. A. N. S. E. E. S. S. W. E. All answer. Let. Less than. Less. E. D. L. And. Semicolon. New line. Space. Space. New line. Right. New line. End of text. Now that I've written the code, let's try to build it. Build, build failed, system dialog. Yep. Build, build failed. failed, system dialog. Let's fix those Source issues. editor, edit text, ins, right brace, space, coop less than less than hello. This is how many apples I have less than, sp in, 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 left, new, in, you, not new, select, be beginning, select, select, new line, number include less than, I, I, odd number, new, new, n, r, n, s, l, u, d, e, spit, less, r, o, f, t, r, e, a, m, greater, new, u, n, r, n, g, spit, n, a, m, e, f, p, a, c, e, spit, f, t, d, semi, new, r, n, t, space, spit, t, n, r, new, semi, code, set, new, r, n, t, spit, m, a, r, n, left, right, brace. Oh, I see what I did. Comp, n. I don't know why I always do that. I always put braces instead of parentheses. Let's see if that fixes the issue. Build. Build succeeded. System dialog. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why I always put braces after main. It's... 
becoming a habit. I don't. I don't know, man. Oh, okay. Now let's run the program. Run. Build succeeded. System dialog. Build succeeded. Syst and we'll come out of here and have voiceover read the output. Scroll area. Out of debug ball. Horizontal split. Debug area. Group. Debug area. In debug area. Group. 12 items, variables, view, and vertical split, debug console, edit text, insertion at end of text. Hello, this is how many apples I have, 78. Program ended with exit code, zero. And that is the output of the program. So I'm just going to recap over what I did. I went into Xcode, click file, I click new, click project, click Mac OS, click command line tool followed by next name the project if you have a team then you'd create one otherwise you leave it as none you set your prefix to cpp set the language to c plus plus hit next hit create and if you don't have an author name or anything set up you would just leave that as you would just leave that as blank or you can just put cancel and there you go. Now, the only problem with Xcode is if you were to just create a C++ project and then go in and then try to um, run it, you'd have issues running it. I don't know what's wrong with Xcode. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So if I go down to Finder here. Doc, separate, text, app, native, pod, mail, finder, finder, finder. And if you want to find her here, and I'm going to go ahead and video tutorials, code project, screen, main CPP tutorials, code project, Xcode project, main CPP. Let's just open up a um, CPP file and let's open uh, this open. in Xcode. Oh, main CPP, C++ source code, main CPP, C++ main CPP, code runner, main CPP. Oh, wrong IDE. Doc, finder, 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 space with applications, screen, to video, tie, test, main, main, main CPP, actions, main, open. Show menu, menu, open, open with, open, code, code runner, insert, note, number, page, text, edit, text, mate, text, mate, text, mate, text, mate, did, show, Xcode. Main CPP, Xcode, main CPP, window, source editor, edit. Now, if I were to hit build, slash, see, slash. I would have issues. So, Voice I think the main issue why the code won't run is because when you create an Xcode project, it's like something to do with files. So, you can't just write the raw CPP code. For some reason it doesn't let you so what i do is if i want to edit my code if you want to do that in xcode i believe you'd have to create a new xcode project and then um have the file that you want to use just imported you can just add the files how you normally would add files to an xcode project i believe that's how you would do it but that's how you get c and xcode working properly that's all I have for now. I hope to get back to making more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Tian here. Um, I'm attaching this little clip to the end of the video because I actually found out how to get the Xcode file to run even if you close Xcode. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open the Xcode project that contains the CPP file. I'll show you guys how to do that right now before we finally end the video. So I'm gonna unmute voice over here. Voice over unmuted. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go down to Finder. Finder, oh doc. Finder, oh, Finder, reasons. Window. Okay. So inside Finder, these CPP projects are going to be inside of the Xcode project of itself. So remember at the beginning of the video, we named the Xcode project video test or video two, and then we named the CPP file, we changed it from main.cpp to another file name. So let's go back in Text and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Main CP test CP tight in step screen recorded tutorials cut screen recording screen 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 pull lab one page Mr. M loop lab one Mr. T on T on Lashley S late T on Lash video tutorials cut approach X there we go we're gonna go in here X code tight in step and as you guys can see you see T on's test dot CPP so the file is already gonna be there you don't have to change anything it'll just be right there where the file is so if you open the cpp file itself you'll have issues running it but if you open the xcode project that contains the file then you'll be able to run the code so if i hit command b to build 
and then I hit Command R, you'll see the results of the program. Well, the code that I wrote earlier. So we'll hit that. And as you guys can see, the program ran without any issues. So uh, we had to combat this issue. I discovered that if you name the Xcode project the same as the CPP file, then you shouldn't have a problem. So let's go up here. Menu. File. New. Add. Open. 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 Click. 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 Save. Duplicate. Open. Save. Command. S. We'll click save as. Um. New. Submenu. Add. Open. 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 Close. 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 Project. Command. Control. Option. W. We'll close the project. Okay, close so project. we're gonna go back to Finder and then we're gonna just rename Finder, it. Finder, Finder. Because for some reason, Resence, Command Shift S is not working. So, Titan's test, screen type video, video tutorials, code approach, Xcode, Titan's test. Can we call this um, Tion's test? So let's change it. Open, show menu, menu, open, open, show, in, show, move to get in, rename, compress, rename. Video tutorial, show menu, video tutorials, code approach, Xcode project. And let's name this T Y O N S T E S T. Reasons Titan's test is called a project at Titan's test C P P C plus. Now we have Tion's test Xcode proj and we have Tion's test dot C P P. Now the reason why I'm not getting any errors is because this file over here is dot Xcode proj and this text is dot C P P. There are two file formats. So if you save the file, the Xcode project, and the file with the same name, then you should be able to go into the Xcode project where you kept the C++ file and then build and run it from there. So that's how you would really get C++ and Xcode running. I'm glad I made this clip before uploading the video. So now I'll see you guys in the next video. Stop recording button. Thanks for watching.